Hi everyone, welcome to IV Pro Schools YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn a trick to do conditional formatting in Tableau. Well, doing a conditional formatting in Excel and Power BI was very simple, but in Tableau it is not so straight. Here I have this Excel sheet in front of me which shows the quantity of the products sold, the date, the sales and the profit. And we want to achieve a table in this fashion. In Excel, doing this is pretty simple using the conditional formatting and the color scales. But in Tableau, it is a little challenging because the formatting gets applied to only the text value and not its background. Let us move ahead and see this. In this blank sheet, first we will drop our date, the quantity, the profit and the sales. So Tableau has summarized the values which we do not want. Hence, we will change the year to exact date. Now we will want to see this in the form of a matrix or a table. To do that, we have to right click on the sheet and select duplicate as cross tab. We get the result in the new sheet. And now we will swap the rows and the columns. And hence we get the matrix in this way. The first step would be to drop the measured value into the colors marks card. So I'm holding my control key and dropping it. As you can see that the formatting has been applied only to the text value and not the cell background like in case of Excel. And also it has been applied to all the columns instead of individual. We would not always want to highlight all the columns. Instead, we would want to be highlighted only on some specific columns. Hence, we will right click on the measured value dropped into the colors marks card and then select use separate legends. And we get them on the right hand side. Now select the drop down in the quantity legend and select edit colors and then advance and check the center option. Given a very large numbers, as we can see that quantity has got all figures below 300. So I'm giving 50,000 here and change the color to black and then hit OK. We see that the highlight has been removed from the unwanted column that is quantity. Our next step is to highlight the sales background of the profit and the sales column. To do that, go to size and increase it to the maximum. Select automatic and change it to square. For some of you, both the cell value and the highlight will come up together. While for others, you might not get the cell values as in my case also. To make it visible, drop either of the sales or the profit measures into the labels marks card and then remove it. And like magic, the cell values appears. There is some glitch in the updated version maybe because of which we are getting this error. But anyways, by dropping in and removing the profit measure, we get the cell values. Now I will push the quantity above profit. And in order to remove the background color from the quantity, I will select the drop down in its legend and then check the reverse and the black background color is removed. Now, if you want, you can apply your desired color scale into your columns. Profit looks fine for me. I will do that only for the sales column and I will change the scale into red and blue. And hit OK. And here we go. Now we are able to apply conditional formatting just like we used to do in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.